Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. As you know, I'm a big Corvette enthusiast. Got a couple of Corvettes. You've been on the website before. You saw our uh, uh, C6 RS, uh, the Z06, with the 505 horsepower motor. We transplanted my C5 I've had since 79, and of course, the king of the hill, the ZR1, serial number 001. But as much of a Corvette fanatic as I am, there are guys way, way beyond that. There's a website called smokinvets.com, which is just Corvettes. We kind of do everything here. No, this is just Corvettes. No other cars exist. It is the only car in the universe. It's run by enthusiasts, for enthusiasts. Let's meet a couple of the goofballs behind this. Hi, guys. How you doing? How you doing there, dude? Guys, introduce yourselves. Good to meet you. Uh, Alex Schultz. Alex. My name is Greg. Just Greg. You know, like, like Cher, <laughs> Madonna. This is Greg. It's smokingvets.com. You guys run the rep website, right? Yes. And you get technical advice, and I've been on it a bunch of times, and it's really cool stuff, mm -hmm. because I've always said Corvettes and Harley Davidsons are probably the most accessorized vehicles in, in the world, and there's more aftermarket stuff for those than almost any other car. And you guys brought a couple of your vets down today, right, to show us. What do you, who wants to go first? I guess I will see that we're close to this This is one. Greg. <laughs> it's a 2005 C6. Right. Uh, we dropped in a 403 stroker. Okay. Um, and put the STS twin 60 millimeter remote mount turbo system on it. Okay. So the turbos are all the way in the back. Not the prettiest underneath, but it is completely functional. It's fully forged, built by LME. You started with what block? It's an LS2 block. LS2 block. Taking it to what, 403? 403. You said? 403 yes. cubic inch. Okay. Did you pop off up there? Yes, it is. And what do you want to run for rear end ratio in this? Uh, 390s. Oh, 390s, okay. And then with a six speed, you probably are, right? Huh? Yes. So the turbos are all the way in the back. You hooked up the exhaust, and then pipes rerun all the way up to the front. But you don't get a lot of lag when you come all the way back and then force it all the way back up again. Huh? Maybe a split second, yeah. if that. Okay. Um, well, you've got enough volume in the motor so that you're probably all right. Yes. Okay, well, that's pretty neat, and that probably helps weight distribution. I imagine it keeps the heat further back, too, doesn't it? Yes, so my heat soak uh, is not an issue in this. I'm take a peek. They're, they're twin 60 millimeter twin turbos. Wow, that's pretty sophisticated. I have to admit, I was not aware of this system. Who makes it? Uh, STS, okay. Squires. What kind of horsepower figure are you getting? Right now, we just have it on 11 pounds, uh, and we got almost 650 to the wheel. We need a bigger map sensor uh, in order to go for the bigger boost. And this is kind of the style, though. A lot of guys do the, the matte ba uh, black, the flat black. And of course, the cops don't notice any of this. That's the nice no. thing. You know, when you go through town, <laughs> you know, if you go on 61 and a 60, you're going to get nailed. I mean, just say, arrest me. Let me guess, single guy? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have, you can, yeah. <laughs> no, you, I'm, no, I'm actually in a relationship. So. You are? Yes. And she's very understanding? Uh, yes, she actually oh, yeah. helps me clean it, so. Really? <laughs> really? Well, let's see how long that lasts after you're married, okay? Yeah, give me a call right now. Yeah, oh, honey, can I help? Oh, yeah, great, great. Uh, we have to sell it. You got to get a minivan. We got a kid coming. But no, no, it's fantastic. And you've upgraded the brakes, bears, right? Yes, uh, that's the Bear Extreme, okay. uh, six piston front and rear. Now, what kind of shape was this car in when you got it? Was it, was, did you buy it new? Did you buy it used? I actually bought it secondhand. Okay. Um, and it came pretty well stock, except for, of course, a ba uh, cat bag system. Okay. And instantly from there, I lifted the body off the chassis and went to work on it. Interior, uh, pretty basic. I like to keep it relatively clean, so we put Horizon racing seats in. Nexus gauges, which obviously let us know our fuel pressure, oil, and air fuel. We are also running the fat coilover, fully adjustable coilover system on this. Other than that, the body on this one's pretty stock, except for the Z06 rear quarters, the racing wing. Get a little flack on the wing, but uh, it's, it's, as Jay says, it's one of the cars you can accessorize the most, and it's something I, I personally like. We'll have to take it out a little bit and see how it goes. Absolutely. All right, let's move it over to your buddy. Tell us about your car. All right, Jay. Uh, first of all, same as this one, it's a 2005 uh, C6. Difference is this is an automatic. It's uh, supercharged with a magnet. Now, why the automatic? I'm just curious <laughs> as to buy, because did you, do you prefer the automatic? You know, I'm a little bit of an impulse buyer. Yeah. Drove by, saw the car, <laughs> had to have it four hours later. Wow. Automatic's in the garage. Wow, OK, OK. And you got a tow bar here? Interesting story behind it, but yeah. uh, What's the story? Two with the transmission last year. Uh, tow strap, no place else to hook it to except the sway bar. Okay. Two blocks away from the house, the uh, tow strap came off, grabbed the old uh, chin spoiler, and took it for a run. Ah, not good. <laughs> How much horsepower you were? This one's uh, limping over about five and a quarter at the wheels. What size wheels you guys wanted? Those 19s? 
These are uh, 19s in the front, 20s in the rear. Most everything on this car has been pretty much gone through, replaced. Remember DS vets. Right, right. We've done the interior. Uh, we have a uh, currently a Gearstar uh, Stage 4 transmission in it. Uh, Yanked uh, 2800 converter. You know, we were using this transmission in our EcoJet jet car, which is 750 horse and like 800 foot pounds of torque. Uh, clutch pack lasted two miles. Hit second gear, woo! Uh, uh, smoke. So we rebuilt it and put it back in. Let's open your hood here. That's a nice looking supercharger unit. We're uh, spraying methanol into the intake. Are you using methanol water injection? No, it's just straight methanol using the windshield washer reservoir to hold the okay. methanol in. We have the uh, Magnuson 112 blower. We have a uh, complete Cook's uh, ceramic coated headers. Underneath the engine bay, we've accessorized it with parts from Pipe Dreams to Atomic Motorsports. So, you know, we've done some dress up to it. One of the latest add-ons that we added to the car was uh, the BMB uh, Bullet Fusion Exhaust. The days when you have the girlfriend or the wife in the car, you're able to hit a button and it basically uh, quiets down. The folks up at Escort sent us down the latest, greatest radar laser jamming technology in here. We have a 9500 radar detector. This is the first C6 in the world with AP Racing's uh, big brake kit on it. How many hits you guys get on your website usually? Uh, we are a little bit over 286,000 on wow. a monthly basis. Cool, cool. Uh, 44,000 members ranging from C1 owners up to C6, Z06. Right. And if I any technical questions, I imagine I can go on. If you have, if you have a question about your Corvette, no matter what it is, it doesn't have to be a high performance question. It can be a question about squeaky brakes or anything like that, right? You guys. A to Z. Yeah, and the nice thing is, it's enthusiasts talking to other enthusiasts. You're not dealers telling you, oh, come on down. I mean, you know, you'll find out who's good, who's bad, what's a ripoff, who's a crook, mm -hmm. who treats you nicely, who goes out of their way, a lot of, and the usual gossipy chatter that you have on all these kind of things. <laughs> but I think it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, very cool. Well, gentlemen, I'm gonna have to take these cars for a ride and see how they go. short shifter kit in it of some kind. It shifts very nicely. One product I recommend highly is MTL, manual transmission lube. That works the best. Best for synchros. Handles nicely, not too stiff, not too firm. And I do like these gauges. You can read them with your peripheral vision without taking your eye off the road. Sounds good, not too loud. Boy, you hear that waste gauge. You hear it spool up and then that's part of it, you know? Because really, how often can you really drive fast? If a car is not entertaining to drive, then what is it? And I do like having the turbos way back there. Keeps all the heat from coming under the floor of the car and roasting your toes. Very clever idea. It's the first time I've seen that application on a Corvette. It's a great group. It's smokingvets.com. Go on it, and you'll find other like-minded people like yourself. And who knows, you might learn something. Let's go back and do a burnout.